Last month I made chocolate chip cookies for a friend who needed a man. Just a few dozen chocolate chip cookies as a kind and considerate gift. But on seeing them fresh from the oven and piled on top of the plate, I found myself starting to wonder why Clovis and Charlemagne ate. And I'm not really sure how it happened. Each thought led me further astray. But one thing led to another, and I cooked my first feast yesterday. I needed some dog for a journey, for my clothing was looking quite grim. Just a plain simple tunic of cotton, with maybe a snippet of trim. So I went to purchase some broadcloth, since of all sturdy and sane. But I passed by a vault of blue velvet, that must have been calling my name. And I'm not really sure how it happened. My thought process isn't quite clear, but one thing led to another, and now I'm wearing my new lich cake gear. I was called into court by the Herald, where they gave me a beautiful scroll. The next day I went to the craft store and blew my entire bankroll. I shopped for a couple of hours for rinks and calligraphy pins and parchment and pigments and paper and bottles and brushes and then I'm not really sure what happened. The thought of it leaves me quite faint, but one thing led to another and now I'm using gold leaf and lead paint. I went to a party at Penzig where I served lots of tasty brown beer. Imagine my shock and amazement when I found it was brewed by a peer. And it sounded so simple and easy when he told me the steps it required. Just some yeast and some grain and some water and an hour or two on the fire. And I'm not really sure how it happened. His early attempts were all flops, but one thing led to another and now Vikings growing four acres of hops. <laughs> I bought a drop spindle to play with and a small hank of Winsleydale wool and some shuttles and spindles and twisters because fiber arts look awfully cool. Then I sent off my letter to Santa to ask for a four harness loops with more pedals than a church organ and can fill my entire front room and I'm not really sure how it happened. I never thought I'd die so but one thing led to another and now I'm raising ten heritage sheep. <laughs> I went to my first Bardic Circle, where I heard lots of marvelous songs. I laughed and I listened for hours, as I sat with my friends until dawn. Then I purchased a small ukulele, and copied down lyrics and chords. I filled up a couple of notebooks, to sing for the ladies and lords, and I admit, I know how this happened. It wasn't a false canard, but one thing led to another, and now they call me the unicorn bard. <laughs>